Good evening, morning, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. Today, before we get started, we have two pretty crazy things that came to my attention yesterday that I'd like to just talk to you all about and address real quickly. So the first one is huge shout out to Solgot. He made a video called Top 10 uh, classic WoW YouTubers, Gold Making Edition, and he put me in that list. And uh, honestly, I've never had anyone do anything like that for me. And uh, I am just incredibly grateful that you found me worthy to put in there. And I really appreciate it, man. So thank you. Um, I definitely hit you with that like, comment, subscribe, because I know myself how much that helps. And I enjoyed the video, and I just... I'm super grateful for it, and thank you very much, man. It means a lot to me. And the next business uh, that we come to is something that is really surprising to me, and I don't want to go into the political side of this. I just, because I got asked a lot of questions involving um, the impeachment of the United States president. I'm from the United States, so my president, Donald Trump, um, he was impeached yesterday. And so a lot of people asked me how the impeachment process works. And so it starts off with the House hearing. They convict or they find a crime that they impeach the president for. It's sort of like um, the best example that I've come up with in a way is it's like the police um, arresting you and charging you with a crime. And that, that's pretty much what they did. They passed two articles of impeachment on abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. So now those go to the Senate for the trial and it requires a super majority of two-thirds, meaning I believe that means 67 yes votes in order to remove um, any president, but this president from office on those charges. And the, I, I think this is a crazy time because there's only been two other presidents that were impeached before this. Um, Bill Clinton, which I was like three. I was born in 95, so when that happened in 97... I was like, you know, little kid, so I didn't really have any idea of what was going on with the world. Um, and then the other one was Johnson, and it was right after uh, Abraham Lincoln and the Civil War. He was Abraham Lincoln's successor. Those are the only two presidents other than Trump being the third to get impeached. And something really crazy that shot out to me and honestly has me worried is that this was the first one that was completely partisan. All the others have been bipartisan. And, you know, when one side uses impeachment like a weapon and just completely neglects that an entire half, like we have a two party system, just completely ignores an entire second party to make this. It's just that, that baffles me. And I don't want to get into who's right, what's right. I don't, I, I just, I'm trying to be as, um, non-biased as I can and just sort of say what I thought. I would encourage you guys to go and find your own opinions, draw this out, see what you think of it. I just found that fact to be very um, um, jumping out at me and popping out and to look into it to draw my own opinion. Anyway, guys, that's it for that. Just a lot of all like crazy stuff happening, and I just want to get that out of the way beforehand. So now we're going to get into what this video is. So I'm going to be herbing in Silithus. This is the last zone that I have not covered. And so the path that I'm going to recommend you guys take, and there's two ways to go about this. If you want Black Lotus for your flasks and other awesome things like that, Black Lotus can spawn right here down in the southern part. There's Twilight Mobs there. They're not too hard. You can get around them. Then it also spawns by Bronze Beard encampment there's two points right here and right here and then there's another point over here in the hive regal cave and if you want to go in there to get it you can that's up to you but there are a lot of high level elites and there's a lot of stealthy mining herb rogues who go there for the ooze covered rich thorium as well as that chance of the lotus spawn I'm going to go over there, you know, it can't hurt to walk over and see find herb and see it there, because you can kill them. They're a bit tough, but you can kill them, 
as most classes that are DPS in order to get it. Um, and then the final spawn points up here um, by the Silithus Elementals that we have covered recently. So the path I'd recommend is run up here from Scenarian Hold. Go down here. Pretty much just make a right triangle through Silithus. And you're going to find a lot of Sungrass, Dreamfoil, Mountain Silver Sage around the borders. And if you're lucky, you'll get that wonderful, rare, mythical Black Lotus. Anyway, guys, so that's the urban path that you can do. We're going to go about that for an hour here in a bit. I actually have to go to a dentist appointment here in 10 minutes. So we were going to come back from that and do the actual filming and sampling of this zone. So anyway, guys, I will see you then. And I hope you have a great one. Whoop! Alrighty guys, so I am back from the dentist. No cavities, checked out, everything was great. Um, we're running this path from Cerulean Hold. We're just up at the first Lotus spawn. Doesn't look too good for the Lotus. It's marked that it spawns right there, but I like to just do a wide path just to be entirely sure. You know, you can find Silver Sage and other herbs up in the uh peaks here but most importantly um be careful with a lot of the mobs here in silithus like they're max level and they have stuns snares and they can very easily dismount you so while you're running along this path just be very careful try your best to avoid the hives um herbs spawn there but at the same time they're pretty high level mobs so i try my best to run around the hives not get into them and potentially die also these dredge crushers and the other dredge worm will charge you and stun you for two seconds so i would recommend not aggroing any of them to the best of your ability and i personally will like to hug the mountains to go along the hives here you got to watch out for packs like this because they can be very lethal but if you're able to make it past them and not get dismounted, these mountains are great spawn points for Mountain Silver Sage, which can be amazing. But just a few quick pointers. Look at that. I already got some Mountain Silver Sage. Now, see, I did aggro those wasps, so I want to make sure that they de-aggro before I dismount. All right, they did. Good. And voila. A lot of people don't come up on these sides of the mountains to get this, so... I would definitely recommend checking this out. And look at that. It's just almost a gold per. Anyway, guys, just a quick update, and if I find anything else of note to point out, I will do that for sure. See you then. Whoop! So another quick note, guys, something that I really like to do, um, depending if you're here for um, Dreamfoil or Silver Sage more, um, obviously the Black Lotus is the big one, um, but Silithus is pretty scarce on herbs, so... What I like to do is alternate each uh, time I go around the uh, the map. I like to go through the middle here if I went around the edge here one time. And then same thing up here. If I went uh, all the way up, I'll cut through on the next time. And the reasons I do that is because a lot of the dream foil, and as you saw right there, sun grass spawns in this inner area, whereas mountain silver sage spawns around the outside. So you can sort of get both, and it, it will pay off eventually. Um, it just sort of depends on how populated and how uh, picked your server is. I've seen a few other people out here herbing. I'm doing a pretty... Uh, uh, peak time, you know, around lunchtime, so some people might get on and pick a few herbs just to s try their luck and whatnot. But I just wanted to inform you of that, as well as killing those spiders that I just killed. Um, they have the highest chance to drop uh, iron web spider silk, which is used in those rune cloth shoulders as of now. And if you want to save it for later, there are a few really big recipes that it becomes essential for later on. So that's a pretty good farm there. I will do a video on that um, shortly. But 
right now we're just on that herb. I actually kill them instead of just fear running them away if I dismount to get an herb because I use that silk and find it very helpful. Um, but yeah, just wanted to update you guys on that, and we should be closing out soon, and I'll give you the final verdict of how well we did. So I will see you then. Whoop! Alrighty, guys. To wrap this up here, um, we have had a pretty good farm. We still have two minutes, but I just want to go over a shorter path that gives you a higher chance to get the lotus, but a lot less herbs. And that's pretty much just running from here to here. The two corner spawns, just literally running here, looping around, and just looping this short bottom half. Now, that does miss out on that lotus spawn, but the path is a lot faster, and therefore you're in the area here for a higher potential to get the lotus, which is really what makes this farm valuable and worth being here is focusing on the lotus because i think eastern plague lands and winter spring are much better herbalism farms than silithus and burning steps so if you're interested in that lotus and just want a nice easy just run back and forth on this loop um you'll find a lot less herbs but you can definitely get a higher shot of the lotus i've gotten one lotus here um not today unfortunately i was really hoping to get it but there's been a few herbalists out here so i th think i missed it and someone else claimed it but you never know also the lotus that spawns over here pretty freaking uh dangerous like there's a ton of twilight mobs i'd recommend being as careful as you can be um, and this is what I was talking about, trying to avoid these mobs as much as possible. But anyway, we're coming to an end here. We ended up with a total of 24 gold and 33 silver from just the raw herbs. Now, to show you guys something that I do with these instead of just taking my word for it, we look here at uh, TSM. Um, we were able to get... 10 Mountain Silver Sage, 15 Dream Foil. I'm not going to count the Dream Foil I had previously, but we can craft these into Greater Arcane Elixirs. Now, that is an expensive pattern, so you might not have it, but if you do, you can make really, really good money with it. Literally, I can just buy these herbs off the auction house. It takes that price and what these are selling for and just makes it that. So we make five of these. That's an extra 10 gold right there, making this farm 35 gold per hour if you're an alchemist. Now, I am using mats that I formed here. I counted how many dream foil I got, excluded it, moved in that bag just to keep track there. But just like that, our gold goes to 35 in one hour just because we have alchemy to complement it. So that's, to me, that's what I did in an hour. And that's why I advertise things like 35 gold per hour in the title when you clearly see 24 it's because of the profession after work that i do and i'm very transparent about that just sort of to clear that up and let you guys know why it uh differs from this real number right here but that's it guys and i hope you enjoyed this video um once again uh thank you so much for the shout out earlier as well as the um as well as all the new subs and everyone tuning in, like, it means the world to me that we're having a lot of success with this. So, thank you guys so very much. And I hope you have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow with another video. Buh bye If you made it to the ending, thank you so much for watching this video. It really helps. If you could, please share this with, like, one person you know, because it would help me so, so much. I'd appreciate that. Really gets me going on this and can keep growing to make this sustainable and keep up this lifestyle. So I super appreciate it. And if you could please like, comment, and subscribe, it would mean the world to me. And thank you so very much. Bye-bye.